Eddie, now Eddie, Eddie why isn't it priority? He's the last champion with the only belt without a television U.S. D distributor. Like, why are you? Why is that not priority? I'm, I'm scratching hey. my head. Deontay Wilder. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. It's another one. From Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> and today, we're talking about the begging. The bare face begging of Deontay Wilder, writer, journalist. It took place the other day at Madison Square Gardens. Now, Eddie was there for the press conference of Anthony Joshua versus Jarrell Miller. And later, spoke was spoken to by journalists of the Deontay Wilder Rider variety. And they had the bare-faced nerve, the bare-faced goal to approach the man, Anthony Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn, who has been called by Wilder a slave owner, a slave driver, because he works with Joshua. And they had the nerve to ask him, to beg him to sign Deontay Wilder on the basis that Tyson Fury had a multi-million dollar deal just signed with ESPN. So on that basis, they approached the man and asked the man, begged the man to sign Deontay Wilder to a long-term multi-million dollar deal. The same man that they have slandered, tried to crucify in the press, Eddie Hearn. Listen to this, listen to this shizzle again. Let's get this queued up. Okay. Here we are. Here we go. Absolutely. Eddie, Eddie why isn't it priority? He's the last champion with the only belt without a television U.S. D distributor. Like, why are you, why is that not priority? I'm, I'm scratching my head. Deontay Wilder. Madness. Utter and absolute madness. How are you going to go begging the man that you've slandered? How are you going to go back and beg the man that you've slandered left, right, and center? Huh? Riddle me that. Riddle me that. It's like robbing a man one day on a Monday and going back to him on the Tuesday and asking him for a loan. Utterly ridiculous. All right, let's get to the next clip. Where are we? We now know Fury has a it's contract. It's business, mate. I don't... What do you mean? You have the undisputed champion, right? Or you want to make him undisputed, so you need that last piece of the puzzle. Well, Why you're asking me to do, shine Deontay. Absolutely. I'd love to. So then, what's love going to. on? Trying. Send those offers out. Look, right here. Trying. Try what, you what do you want me to do? Sign Deontay. Sign Deontay. Ab... Salute madness. Hey, Eddie, are you willing to give Deontay a, 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 a hundred million contract, hundred million dollar contract? Like, you know, we see Tyson Fury. <laughs> oh my gosh, you, you cannot make this shizzle. I'd like you to send him a message, please. Hey, Eddie, are you willing to give Deontay a, 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 a hundred million contract, hundred million dollar contract? Like, you know, we see Tyson Fury. <laughs> So now we have what? What? Who is that? Blue Bud. Now we have Blue Bud begging, begging Eddie to sign 
Deontay Wilder to a long-term contract. The man they call the slave owner, the slave driver. They've gone to him, begging, begging, cap in hand. Please, please, Eddie. Please, Eddie. Eddie, are you willing to give Deontay a, a, a $100 million contract? $100 million contract? Like, you know, we see types of period. <laughs> you cannot make this shizzle up. You can't make it up. This is mad. Madness. How are you going to go to the man that you've slandered? Left, right, and center. Cap in hand, begging him to sign Deontay Wilder, of all people. Let's skip to this. Let's skip to this. Would, would you give that to Deontay Wilder? Okay. Nine fights. No, no, no. We don't well, need, five fights. Do you know what? We don't need Deontay Wilder for nine fights. We just need to say, let's have a fight. If he doesn't want to commit long term, this is really simple. Have a fight in June or July or May, right? Brazil, uh, Kanaki, like anyone like Joshua's having a fight with Miller. And then fight Joshua. Just sign to fight Joshua. Have your warm up, Miller. Have your warm up, Deontay. And sign to fight Joshua. Fury's gone off to ESPN. Who knows what the program is there. But Fury's off the market right now. He allegedly. His American promoter. Bob Arum has, has said. That. Uh, they'd be interested in that fight later on in the year. At the end of the year. Who knows. Who knows when they'll be interested in that fight? Who knows if they are interested in fighting Wilder again? We don't know that. But there is a man with three, four belts waiting for you, Deontay. And his name is Anthony Joshua. Why go around the houses? The obvious fight is right there. You've had a 40% offer, 40% split. What's the hold up? What's the conf what's the confusion? What's the delay? You know what the terms are. Sign the contract. And as for these begging journalists, well, that's just beyond that is just that's beyond the pale. I can't say it's beyond comprehension because nothing surprised me with these guys anymore. It's just utterly and absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> Deontay, sign the contract, bad boy. Sign the contract. Now. Okay. So, what do you think? It's Raphael Dawkins. Combat Radio. Like subscribe share and comment and i'm out